I don't normally do this, but I, I just want to read a tweet out today because Steve Bruce, uh, you know, is always a, a hot topic. And Newcastle fans are passionate, we know that. But Gallagher Original um, <laughs> has tweeted me and said, I think we've always been aware over the past few years of the blind spot the media and ex-pros have had with Bruce. Amiable fellow, decent player, the Fergie factor, but bloody hell, the reaction this week, you'd think he was up there with Busby, Shankly and Steen. Embarrassing. I never said that. Well, it's, it's a bit harsh, to be honest, Gallagher Original, because we haven't talked about him yet on the yes. show, you know. I mean, condemn us in about five minutes' time, OK? <laughs> 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 anyway, what, what a great bloke, Steve Bruce. What a fantastic job he did. At, I'm just joking, guys. <laughs> I'm just joking. Look, um, boy, he's gone. You didn't need to be Mystic Meg to know that he was going to go. Um, and I have to say, looking back at that Spurs game last week, whoever took the decision to let him stay, whether it was on sentimental grounds for a thousandth game, it was a game too far, wasn't it? Because it was so toxic towards him. Yeah, it was. It's disappointing to see. Um, I think people forget that at the end of the day, Steve Bruce is a human being. There's no doubt about it. He's a human being that's going to have to deal with the criticism that comes. And people can turn around and say, well, he gets paid X amount to be a manager. It's irrelevant. He is a human being at the end of the day. Nobody, nobody needs to put up with that abuse. But um, when you look at Newcastle, listen, they're very passionate fans. We're going to get that. But, you know, for me, when I look at everything that's going on right now at Newcastle, when you take Graham Jones's situation, and we're all led to believe, and all we heard was, was Steve Bruce tactically he didn't know this and tactically he didn't know that in terms of training he didn't do this so you go and whether it was his choice to bring in Graham Jones or not we don't know but every manager are the, you know, there's not many top managers that I don't think are on the grass anymore coaching all the time they've got coaches so there's a lot of responsibility lies at Graham Jones's door as well and you know for me when you look at what's happening now he's now going to take the team today so you expect him to get a reaction out of it mm. hey, but in fairness doors look Newcastle had they're at home against the Spurs side, we know leak goals. They had one shot on target, 35% <coughs> possession. People have got a right to protest, haven't they, about that? Well, not about Steve Bruce, I don't think, now I sat here last week. But they pay the money uh, to go in there, don't they? And they, you I know? said I didn't believe he would be in charge this week. He mm. didn't take a... No, I, I think we all knew that. that but... uh, and I think when you go there, of course you're disappointed. When you're at home against against Spurs and the way they started as well, the place erupted, I was like, here we go, this is this is the start of it. But then after that, Spurs dominated the game and they're, they're going to be disappointed because they, they expected the owners new came in, in in the week, they expected things to change. We said on the show last week, it isn't going to change with a click of a finger, it's going to take time. They're in a relegation battle without a shadow of a doubt and the disappointment from the fans that that they thought they'd turn up and it'd be, it'd be a party day, uh, things would go to plan. It, cer it certainly didn't. Now, look, it begs the question now. Are you, I, I'm not sure how much managerial contenders, you know, listen to crowds and such like, but they, but they know it's a difficult job. It's a darn difficult job, isn't it? So, I mean, Clinton, who who are they going to get? That's the big question, Jeff. I think Steve, you've got to credit Steve Bruce. And listen, I don't care what anyone says. And <laughs> people can start moaning at me. I had Steve Bruce, and one of the best managers I worked with. I've said this many a times. The way he helped me as a young man moving to Birmingham City, coming from London, was magnificent. So for me, I know what he can do on the training pitch. Yeah, at this precise mm. moment, I think you look at it and probably say it was the right decision because Newcastle have been struggling at the bottom of the table. So it probably was the right decision to lose his, um, to relieve him of his job. But you've got to realise, this takeover has been taken. Without Steve Bruce keeping him in the Premier League and then finishing 12th or 13th, would this takeover have still, still happened? Do you know what I'm trying to say, um, Jeff? But at this precise moment, I do not know who's going to go in there. Who, who really... It's a difficult job. You're going to want someone in to come in now, get them out of the relegation that they're in at the moment. In January, they're going to need to buy players. What kind of players are they going to attract? Yeah, you can give people 150, 200 grand a week. I get that. But no one wants to be playing championship football. I'm not saying Newcastle are going to get relegated, but at this precise moment, Jeff, they are in a relegation battle and it's going to be a sh struggle. You need an experienced manager to go in there and sweat yeah. out. And I don't know of any experienced managers that are available at this precise moment. I've seen a list of the um, people that are favourites to get the job and there's, there's not really a lot of experience on there. So good luck to whoever takes over at Newcastle. But, but, it, but it's a great job for it somebody, is a great isn't job. it? Don't get me wrong, that is a massive job. For a takeover of that football club, it's a huge football club. Brilliant fan base, brilliant football. You ask anyone here who's gone... To 
to Newcastle and played at St James's Park. Many a times, I would have loved to have put on the black and white shirt of Newcastle. It's a massive club. The fans are brilliant. They get behind their team. So it is a huge football club. But they have to make the right decision because at this precise moment, Newcastle are in a relegation battle. They need to sign players in January and they need to get the right manager in. And are they going to bring a manager now? They're going to bring a manager now in for the short term for 18 months or they're going to bring a manager in for two or three years because that's what they probably need at someone. Someone in now for 18 months and then when they kick on again, someone to go and take them where they want to finish in, in the top four. The Newcastle fans are delighted you didn't pull the ball back But I nearly did, on. I nearly <laughs> did. I, I nearly did. <laughs> I mean, the, the, one of the big questions for, for me though, Lee, is... Who's picking this manager? Yep. You know, who's, who is making this decision? Is it Amanda Staveley? You know, she, she doesn't have experience in, in footballing terms. Does anybody at the club mm. have the footballing experience to go out and get the, the high-caliber, high-quality manager that Newcastle fans want? It's, it's a big question, Joe. I, I send the, the candidates and I'm, I'm looking there and I'm thinking, is that really going to turn the football club round? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I think, you, you know, I know Stevie G got branded and, and, and got linked with a job. Going nowhere. No chance. He isn't leaving range. Why not? I, don't, I, I just think it'd, be a, I think it'd be a massive job for him to come into. I think at the moment in time, he's still learning his trade. He's doing well up in Scotland. I feel that, you know, he, he's built something there and, he, and he's progressing. So Are they? Are Rangers progressing? Well, well are Rangers I, progressing I this pro year? <laughs> are Rangers progressing this year from last year? Jeff, come on. <laughs> are they? Yes, of course they are. What, they, top you, of the table do you think they're, yeah, of course they're top of the table again. Are they a better side this year than last year? Well, I think last year totally obliterated everyone. It's probably so they're not. Little okay, little <laughs> that's the answer. <laughs> okay, I see that off the board. I think Stephen Gerrard, and he's been one of the names that's been linked. With, his job. dream job Jeff. is to manage Liverpool. Yeah, exactly. His dream job is to manage Liverpool. Going to Newcastle with the uncertainty, let's be realistic, the owners knew they were going to take over from weeks ago. That should have been done weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. They should have been able just to come into the football club and go, bang, there's what we've got, there's our new manager, and we're going to go forward with here. Yeah, you've, you've got to lay a lot of the blame at their door. Yeah. I but, think they need, so whoever comes in needs to know the Premier League. You are in Like Sam. Yeah. Do you know what? It wouldn't be a bad... It wouldn't be something... Keep them up. No, come on, let's, let's keep this serious. I love Sam. No, no. I mean, I love Sam, but he's been there before. Yeah, he's not just... going back again. And the Newcastle you know fans, if you thought they were toxic towards Steve Bruce, <laughs> if Sam <laughs> went back again, yeah. they would be... Clint, Clint said long-term, long Jeff. It isn't going to be long-term, in my opinion, for the first manager. That's what I said. Yeah, they have it'll, a short one be, for 18 months. Short-term, short, yeah. short term, get, get them safe, get a I bit of stability. Sam. You need that. They need to know Stay the up. Premier League. Stay up, that's it. Then they can start going, right, now we're going to really spend the money and get places. January is important for them. It's a massive transfer window to keep them in the Premier League. If they can do that, then next summer they can build, build again, and that's where you go, right, the long-term strategy. Okay. But in the short term, it's got to be someone who the knows the Premier League, exactly. in my opinion. Yeah. To be fair, Mills made a good point at the midweek. Marino, maybe, could they drag him away, offer him a few quid? He's the type of manager that you'd, you'd bring in and... and, and I think he stabilised the football club. He ruled himself out. I think he said yeah, he'd just but, gone to Roma. I get who did you go with, Jeff? Because the, the, well, like the, the, the other names in the frame are uh, the likes of Eddie Howe, who has Premier League yeah, experience, yeah. Frank Lampard, who has Premier League experience, Roberto Martinez, although whether he would come out of a, yeah, a national job. National. But, but the one they've been talking about this week, Clinton... Fonseca. Yeah, is Paolo Fonseca. Now, according to you guys, he doesn't fit the bill because he's got no Premier League experience. Yeah. And, and to be honest, his record is... Patchy, yeah, you know, patchy. wasn't great he was, at Porto, and he lost wasn't great at Roma, at Roma and exactly. he did, did well at Shakhtar Donetsk in between. Yeah, but obviously if they're speaking to him and they have been speaking about him, then he, he's obviously in the running. That will they speak to him again? I think I saw reports they spoke to him on Wednesday and they haven't heard anything since then. But I don't really know a lot about um, Fonseca. I know the, he, the bit of jobs he's done at Roma, but he, then he lost his job, Jeff. And I know a lot of people say, oh, but he hasn't done it in the Premier League. There's a lot of managers that haven't done it in the Premier League that have come to the Premier League and done well. So if you're good enough. You, you should be given the opportunity. But I don't know if Fonseca is good enough. Is he good enough now for where Newcastle are in the league? If they were mid-table and they were starting to build, yeah, can I told you, I can, he can spend money, I expect that. But where they are now, they're in a relegation battle. So you need someone, and I agree with Dawes, that knows the Premier League to get Newcastle out of trouble. Mm. Jeff, you said that it's a massive club and why wouldn't people be throwing their neck? Why is there not people throwing their names in the hat then, if that's the case? Well, you know, I, put, you, I, I put mine in. I put mine in as well. <laughs> six got million rejected. pounds a season, you know? <laughs> well, Clint said, you know... That's what I'd be paying them. It's it's a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a wage cut, are you? <laughs> You're taking a wage cut. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I know. It, I'd like to see Eddie Howe. I think he's been out of work for a long time since he's, since he's left Bournemouth and he was linked with the Celtic job. I think what he did at Bournemouth when he took them up, yes, he got relegated... 
I think... No, I'm not having that. You're not having that. I, I, I just I would, think with the, I, I think with, the, with, the, with, the, with the city and Newcastle, everything there, the fans are all in it together. Whoever goes, Boydie, somebody. whoever goes, is it going to be the right man? You've got to have a strike. Well, results, yeah. <laughs> if, yeah, if you get results, that's it. Yeah. Steve Bruce got results. They finished 12th last year. Mm. I know... No results that season. Had, no, and that's why. And, and when you don't get results, you become under scrutiny, and rightly so, because where they are in the league, it's a big, big challenge. Whoever takes it, Jeff.